All right, let's see if this works. So I did do a couple of combats before the one you're going to see. Um, and it wasn't anything amazing, as in like um, big huge die rolls or whatever. Uh, or like a lot of whatever. Anyways, it didn't work out for the Russians. Um, I'll see what, I'll show it to you quickly. Um, I think I was mentioning here I had to I wanted to do a couple of here so one was going to be partially a partial supply and the other one was going to be my win lose or draw thing neither of them worked uh, the first one was at 2005 so uh, this guy right here and that was the German uh, uh, the, yeah the 19th Landwehr Brigade and it was attacked by uh, this one and this one I do believe uh, hold on to 105 in 2007 yeah. Where were you here? Were you there? Hold on here. Which one am I doing? Russian Force Army 34. No, here. Okay, so I got it right. I just, uh, I should have um, said 2006. I put down 2007. Anyways, this didn't work. Um, they rolled, the Russians rolled a one. Uh, the Germans actually did, uh, did they supply this one? No, they went unsupplied with the one supply, it just dies like whatever. They rolled a six though, and they uh, managed to um, do no hits even with a one, uh, even with a six. Um, hold on, modified attack strength points is five, yep, result zero hits. Uh, then the second one, yeah, it's been a while since I've done some kind of whatever here. Um, then the second one was at, oh, which, which was a win, loser, draw, and that was this guy up here, I do believe. Yeah, I remember there were some of them here. Uh, oh, darn it, I can't, I think it was number 14. No, it was number two, number eight, that's right, because he had two strength points. Anyways, that didn't work. I think they got a three, um, which uh, in my world, so they needed a, uh, they needed a one, and they didn't get it. Um, cause it's in, in woods the way I was doing it. Remember it was like one or two, um, if it's in broken or clear or whatever. But anyways, it didn't work. Uh, the Germans did supply with, uh, one of the, uh, the core HQs here. And, uh, that was number three actually. And, uh, they rolled a six. Jesus H A man. And, uh, inflicted two hits. So the, um, uh, yeah, so both of these guys took uh, some damage, which really sucked. I'm going to say this, though, on a flip side, if you see this here, I'll put it in a little bit more. Just a little. Where are you? So, this guy, you know what? I'm pretty darn happy with this one. Well, I'm not saying proud, but um, pretty darn happy with what I did. And you're going to see, yeah, oh, sorry, here it is, uh, Fourth Army, uh, Second combat, so that was yeah BG8. That was the sixth Landwehr Brigade over here, and um, against the against the Lead Guard Brigade and the 177th Infantry Regiment. Uh, that didn't work, like I said, and they ended up taking two hits. Holy smokes! Uh, the Russian seventh took a took a hit, and so did the uh, uh, Preobrazensky Lead Guard Infantry Regiment. So anyways, now we're, you know, anyways, I did a bunch of moves, and this is the one thing I'm happy about. So there was some Russian troops here, and I actually moved them back, and by doing that, there was only one strength point over here, and now I have six. So, and remember, it's all still unsupplied here. Yeah, I'm, look, nice continuous line, as much as I flip and can. The only people I have left to do is way the heck up here, oh, you can't see them yet, but uh, the first army up there. I just got a bit more to do, and man, uh, we're, uh, um, then we're off to uh, 03 November, which is pretty cool for me. Um, so here is going to be the um, the second attack, and I'm like, well, why not? They're in clear terrain here. Let's go for it. Um, and just by moving my bat, and see, I, I still think I'm okay here. They're, they're, uh, these guys can't go here. These guys can, because uh, um, Major River... Um, no enemy zone of control to enemy zone of control thing. Um, I feel good here. It's a good defensible area. We'll we'll strike a bit, uh, hit a bit here. I was, I really wanted to do something up here. Hold on, man. But um, just not yet. Just not yet. Because I want to cause, uh, what I want to do is I know what the Germans are doing down here. I can see that. I'm not an idiot. And, I, and up there as well with the first army. However, 
if I can cause a bit of grief over here, what I'm hoping for is that they're, you know, obviously they can't put everything everywhere, but my god, there's so many strength points and supply points coming. It's just like, holy smokes, Russians are in for it. Just, It's going to be a rough November, man. Excuse me, drinking coffee. Um, anyway, so here we go. So number five is... I'll get rid of, well, I'll leave them on actually. So that's the German First Guard Reserve Infantry Brigade, and they've got two strength points. I should have put them down. Hold on. Hold on, let me get the CF thing on Jake. Yeah, I've been listening to Western music, um, or that uh, make, well, make believe Western music. <laughs> it's all make believe, Chris. Um, I, what I'm saying is like non-movie or whatever, it's like someone made it recently or whatever, but uh, yeah, I just, for some weird reason lately, I've just been feeling a lot of Western, like with the Eastern Front at this, I don't know why, it's just got that weird, there was a lot of weird stuff going on, I think, that people didn't know about and so on and so forth, and yeah, I just, boy, I'd like to watch some, uh, there's got to be some, I'm going to have to go and look at, uh, to find out some foreign films or whatever. I really, like, I've been watching a lot of other, you know, oh my gosh, on a side note, I finally got to, uh, uh, last weekend, uh, watch the end of, uh, The Lost Battalion there that Meandering Mike had mentioned. Oh yeah, darn good. Um, yet again, at a different, the nice thing also for me, I guess game-wise or playing-wise or whatever, is I got to see the back and forth of the, you know, up a bit, tiny bit, uh, you know, the operational bit, and then, I mean, obviously it was down at a different level than I'm used to, but boy, it felt good too. It was just a, well, yeah, it's, yeah, it was good. What can I say, man? All right, so number five here, is that where we're going? Yep. Yeah. Like I said, it's the first, uh, first Guard Reserve Infantry Brigade of the First Guard Reserve Infantry Division, and I just popped their two strength points on, and number 27 here, is the 1st Infantry Brigade that was with, of the 59th Reserve Infantry Division. They had one strength point, And I moved back the 36th Infantry Division. They've got five. And then uh, number 44 over here is the 31st Infantry Division with four strength points. And number 45 is the 79th Reserve Infantry Division with three. Uh, so that's a total of 13. It's all unsupplied. So that's going to be... Um, uh, a total effective attacking strength points of six. Uh, the um, German Reserve Infantry Brigade over here is um, a tough little nut with two strength points. Um, are in clear terrain, and let's see what happens. So that means there's no uh, no die roll modification. And we're at a six, I said, and let's see what you need. And remember uh, for. Um, uh, Germans, you need to inflict half amount of uh, uh, damage to force a retreat. So with two strength points, I need one hit. At least it's not like five or something. So let's see what's going on here. So if you can see that, I hope. That's number six. So as long as I don't... Uh, why did I have to say it? But it's the way it goes. Uh, uh, as long as I don't get a one, we're good. We'll force the Germans back. They still get to counterattack, and they're flush with supply points. Let's see what happens. Here we go. It's a three. You can see that. I hope. Yep. All right. So they do one hit. Uh, they do one hit. They're going to force um, uh, the Germans back. But of course, as I, as we know, or should know, or I should know, um, nothing happens yet. Uh, the Germans still get to counterattack. Before they retreat, it is going to affect the uh, their effective uh, counterattacking strength points, but uh, because it's going to be um, doubled, not tripled, but they still get to um, fully supply if they wish. And um, yep, they certainly are. It's eight. It's eight movement points away. They can either get it from the, well, they they can't get it from here. Uh, remember, in my world, um, because uh, that's the Warsh uh, uh, that core HQ is under Warsh. Um, army command and so and this guy's under 8th army I don't know if you can see those little whatever so I'll try to zoom in a bit more that'll help hold on there we go that should be like really in there so um, 
Yeah, so that like you can see here, they're, so that's they're going to lose their trench right here, so that they would have had six more turns until the trench was finished. Two strength points um, belongs to uh, Eighth Army, and it's uh, number five. If well, I'll take off the little whatever. Yeah, no coffee, and I haven't eaten in many, many, many hours. Um, so, and here's the um, uh, Hindenburg and the Eighth Army over here. Number 88 with 10 strength uh, supply points. They also have two core HQs as I know, but it's a total of 10 uh, supply points. It's not, uh, I just didn't want to put uh, Alberta markers all over the flipping place. And obviously it belongs, well not really obviously, because over in Russia land there, um, uh, Brusilov of uh, the 8th Army Commander is actually effectively under control of, um, of the new dude, Anatoly Rosenshield of the 3rd Army. So I shouldn't, you know, it is a thing to still put there. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go and take a look here at number 88 and see who the, uh, the German guys are. So we still got a battery? Yep. Oh, I bought some nice German, actually, ironically, some nice German uh, coffee on the weekend or earlier in the week. My sister was over earlier in the week and uh, we went over to Adonis, the nice uh, grocery store there. Excuse me, I picked up some pistachio bars as per usual and then... Um, also, I uh, snagged some nice German coffee and was like, hey, man, you want to have some? And uh, anyways, I blended it in with the Folgers. Oh, jeepers jumping. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use uh, Core HQ 13 is also here. And they're going to use one, uh, one supply point uh, to fully supply. Um, yeah, they can. They can get out of the way. Yep. See? Well, look. I shouldn't just go C. Uh, one. Two. So, because zones of, uh, zones of control don't count for the movement uh, factor, and obviously I can't go through this uh, uncontested zone of control. Um, so there you go. Um, so that'll be here. I better do it officially. Anyways, you know it's you know there's been some days uh, earlier in the or last week I was staring at this map uh, from the Russian perspective, and I was just yet again I've had that feeling so many times. Just got ultra depressed. I was like, God, you know, things are just falling apart. I've had it for both sides, so it's just, you know, it, it's it's whatever. Where are you here? Um, was it the two? What the hell am I doing, man? No, no, no. Just shush, Chris. Leave it there. Oh, well, no, I'll put that down to a hold on, down to a nine. There we go. I think I'm getting sidetracked. Also listening to the music. Okay. This is not lyrics. I can't deal with that for a variety of reasons. I got way too emotional. Oh my god. That's Zoe. Poor kid. The deal with me. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing on a side note, I cannot keep my eyes off that flipping table. Jeez, man, I'm just, I just so want to get into it. All right. So we've got, where the hell am I? I should have loved it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, well, here, BG27. Um, we're with the hell over here, okay. <laughs> it's number five. All right. Jesus, Murphy, Christ, you should have left the stupid little thing on you, tit. Okay, so we're going to uh, go. So that's, um, yeah, I, I did, it, like I said, it's unsupplied at six. We already did that. It's over with. Now it's the counterattack. So that's um, two, str uh, two strength points that are going to be fully supplied, um, and it gets doubled. So I'm uh, on the four column, and... Uh, as we said, no do, uh, no modifier. So where do we go here? So if they hit a four or five, oh, fifty percent chance they're going to inflict a hit. So let's see what happens. But it's it's when the Germans finally get all their stuff together. I think another two turns. It's going to take a bit of them um, to like to really. I mean, there's going to be some attacks, obviously, to get things jingled around. But the hammer, the big hammer blow. And I think it's just going to keep on, yeah, it's going to be like, well, maybe not a hammer blow. I'm almost thinking something like um, 
taking a big boulder and just letting it drop on several panes of glass that are on top of one each other, you know, maybe like a bit of separation. Just like a very loud and um, dangerous to walk around um, dominoes. All right, it's a two. Oh my gosh, so no hits. That's correct. Um, wow, the Russians got away with it. Uh, where are we here? A four and a two. That's right. So no, um, the, uh, the, so the Germans do get pushed back. And um, so they're going to go this way. As far as I, I, that makes sense to me. And then um, no hits, but somebody's going to move forward. Um, I don't know yet who, but uh, what I'll do is I'll put, um, maybe I'll put the little thing which I should have left in the first place there. And then um, this one will have to go to a one, but I'll just remove it actually because it's uh, the Russians turn. So magically, you know, the, the strength points va uh, disappear. There are, I will say though, on a side note, and I'll bring it back. So not bad. Good on you guys. Um, you're going to be moving up and... Uh, you know, how long it'll last is another story, but um, there we go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, darn it, my mind is going all over the place today. Well, it's getting ready for work. Oh, I have to get ready for work. I haven't even eaten yet, for goodness sakes. Um, what the heck was I am saying? Probably not. My, uh, I'll have to think about it later. Actually, oh gosh, I can't wait to skip it. Um, uh, show you the Ottoman map later. Um, yeah, I'm starting to figure out, okay, this is what I'm going to do on a side note for the Ottomans. Uh, and um, it's just, it's easy for me. It makes a lot of sense. Maybe it's extremely expensive, economical. Well, I'll talk about it on the side note, but I should be doing it when we get to the Ottoman thing. But um, it's, uh, essentially, I'm going to start building some more railroads. But the way I'm going to be doing it is it's going to take um, one month uh to make one uh, single track, like from scratch, and one supply point. So it take, it's going to be expensive and it's going to take ex like a long time. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen a couple. I'm like, okay, we'll connect uh, like Fallujah to, you know, to, to Crete or something. Like, or actually, I think they're connected. Uh, oh, to, uh, to Crete, to Mosul, for example. Uh, that thing. So, um, but that'll take... Uh, actually, I have two railheads going uh, both ways, but it'll still take... Uh, It'll still cost nine supply points in five months to do so. But, you know, that gives me some extra... I also have to look at, like, river navigation. Don't tell me they weren't using the the Euphrates, uh, you know, to... Tran it just doesn't make sense. So, that type of stuff. I'll look at it. Um, yeah. Oh, what, uh, was there something I did want to... No, look. They're doing what they can. Um, I'll try to eventually, like I said, I want to get some uh, good some uh, good some good attacks here. To push uh, to cause uh, well to ease the pressure off the other areas, but um, yeah, I'll go over this later because um, once the first uh, I don't think it's gonna be well. I have to figure out something to do up there, um, but uh, oh my gosh! And then I can't wait to talk to you about the what I'm calling the big adjustment, and also I, I think I've mentioned before I'm not doing any. Um, uh, it doesn't matter because it's all pretend as in like the months like you can say okay well I actually do decide to do December but I'm, I'm doing it for my narrative so um, in my world we're not going to have a Christmas truce we're going to actually have a December truce uh, nothing really is going to happen in December I'm just going to almost make it look like all the everybody kind of is like holy cow what are we getting ourselves into and maybe uh, taking stock of course we're going to continue uh, but uh, it kind of be like that, almost like an assessment. I think of everybody kind of almost a soul searching type of a thing, and and uh, you know, and then like okay, in we go. Um, and it, it was also on a side note from some of the lectures I've been listening to, where people were talking about like or reading like why didn't they stop? You know, when they started to realize what uh, what they were getting themselves into, and a lot of the times, you know, people were saying where like well, you know, to save face or you know. Uh, you couldn't, uh, like the British couldn't, for example, um, let this go because then it would look like, you know, they're, they're a weak whatever. And uh, it's just amazing. To, all this other, you know, back stuff. And anyways, yes, you get the idea. All right. So the Russians are, you know, doing what they can, doing what they can. 
you know, it'll be nice to go up there to first uh, to the first army. It's almost uh, almost ready to go, and then I got to figure out what's gonna the poor Krieg Frosch and that uh, Operation Luther is like kiss that goodbye. But uh, you know, I have to play the thing out for goodness sakes. Okay, hope you have a wicked wicked Monday. See ya.